All right, this game is called 6180 the Moon. I have no idea what that name means. Uh, it's a little indie title uh, platformer with kind of a neat twist. Uh, I've seen games kind of do stuff like this before, uh, so it's not like completely unique, but it's uh, got a nice aesthetic. A jumps. You always go a full revolution around the screen. Uh, oh, there you go. Like in order to get past this, do that. It's kind of funny because uh, partway through the game you realize that the moon seems to be having an existential crisis almost. Oops. Oops. Uh, it's short, uh, but it's also like three bucks, four bucks, like that. There we go. There's nothing particularly hard about the game. Uh, it's not like Super Meat Boy levels of difficulty. Not that I'd know. I've never beaten Super Meat Boy. And well, I uh, watched a speedrun of the game uh, a little bit before doing this, and it took them... About oh, 10 minutes. They were bouncing off of... Oh! Oh! <laughs> there you go! Nice, pretty little game. Oh. And then, uh... One of the cool little twists is, twists are that uh, after you beat all of the levels, it unlocks a mode where you play through all of the levels again, reversed with gravity going up instead of down. So it's a very. Woo! That was close. Up, and over. Up, and over. So that's, uh, that mode was kind of fun to do. Some of the puzzles, when reversed, are very, very awkward. Alright, I said, you always go lightly past where you were. Run some hair by now. Did switch to... Oh, okay, that was weird. Switched uh, to Finding Moon, or Finding Sun mode again. I don't want Finding Moon. I need our Moon Rising. Okay, I hope I don't have to do that in between everyone. There are uh, little bounce pads. That jump going backwards, for some reason, awkwardly difficult. I don't know why. And when I say difficult, uh, keep in mind, none of these are so hard.
that you'll be banging your head against them for half an hour or something. It's not that kind of game. It's kind of a nice, even-paced platformer. It's got some cool little tricks. I kind of want to know if it was made in Unity, because the, the little tail after the moon here uh, looks like the trail renderer effect in uh, Unity. It really looks like the trail render effect in Unity. I like this level because you never have to jump. Let's push to the right. Oops, that was bad. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we can do it. There you go. The, the other thing you'll kind of notice here is that there is a slight face off the edge of the screen where they do their uh, warping effects. say, none of the levels are all that difficult, and then proceed to die 15 or 16 times on a level. There you go! Sweet! Hop! Uh, hop! Uh, 10 levels per world. Okay. This one I remember having issues with. Because uh, you have to hit uh, the spot that's like this, directly above the goal. Ah. Uh, uh, first. Otherwise, there we go. Yeah, otherwise, it's that was weird. Oh, I was really hoping it was just. One of those levels where it just kind of lets you go. Ah. Darn it! Darn it! to Earth 10. to do it every single time. Okay. That's Moon, Earth, Venus. Hi, Venus. And each of the planets has its own weird shtick to it. Like, Earth is strangely okay with all of the people on it, murdering it, 
Uh, Mercury is odd. Uh, it uh, constantly thinks you're up to no good, which is true. I mean, you are in fact up to no good. Okay, those little balls of light, they let you stop and arrest your momentum. Tap B, and it pushes you a little further. Oh. Like, uh, Venus here is very self-centered. These... I don't like these puzzles. They kind of suck. Because uh, it's just blocks that have a little timer and disappear. Oh, didn't tap it fast enough. Watch as I make the same mistake twice in a row. Ah, oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, a lot of the puzzles that involve these things are essentially uh, really heavily timing based. And I don't have good timing, so obviously I suck at them. Alright, checkpoint. There we go. All right. Oh, I remember this level. This level's a friggin' mess. See if I can remember how to even do it. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Well, as they start layering the mechanics onto each other, Get some weird levels. Oh. Or, or, yeah. Sometimes these things will come online while you're right inside of them. It uh, goes a little screwy. Up. Oh. Over. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. And there we go. Well, that's hardly helpful, Venus. You can at least try, okay? Jesus. Alright, that was just bad timing. That was just bad timing. Oh yeah, these little falling star things. I think uh, trying to jump right when they're in line with you is what I ended up doing last time. No, that doesn't seem to work. Or was that when I was coming back? There we go. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game was made in Unity. 99% sure. Which isn't a bad thing. I just kind of recognized some of the stuff they're using to make it. Almost.
Oh, wait till it pops back in. Oh, that was just bad. What was the way to do this? Yeah, just like that. Ah! There we go! Oh! All right, take it nice and slow. Uh. There we go. Nice. Okay, where do we... I'm trying to remember where I have to stop my momentum. Okay, seems to work. Oh, not right there. The uh, reverse of this level, I kinda like. Oh, I have to get to that second, uh... That second uh, ball of light. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did this. That doesn't seem to be getting me where I want to get to. Maybe I can just skip this first ball of light. That seemed to work all right. All right, there we go. Oh, moon, earth, Venus down, Mercury left to go. Mercury is very uh, skeptical of the moon. As I would be of any planetoid, moving without gravity controlling it. Shut up, Mercury. Now you're just being a dick. Come on now. Okay, I like these falling platforms, because these levels seem to be fairly easy. This was the level where, once the star was directly lined up with you, Holding to the right seemed to work pretty good. You get to wait until the platform is lined up exactly where you want it to be. Uh, but then I still fuck up the jump, so... Can't be that. Alright. Let's see, I want to be lined up with that second batch, more or less. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Right there. Right there. Let's try doing it, uh, right... Here-ish. That worked good. And across. Fuck. Ugh. Since they're 
falling at the same rate. There we go. Alright. Wait till it's towards the top. Oop, and up we go. Uh, <laughs> when you screw up what are otherwise fairly simple jumps, that's when you hate yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, like I've mentioned before, it uh, reverses itself at one point so that the gravity is going up and it kind of flips and mirrors the levels. Oh, fuck. Ah! Uh. Oh, and there we go. Okay. But, uh, the mirror of this level... It sucked! <laughs> Took a good... Probably 15 tries to get through. Okay. Enough talking to Mercury. He's, he's just gonna be a jerk. Thanks for that arrow. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, jumped right into that, huh? Oh. And we're off. Xylophone solo. Ah! There we go. I don't know what's with that one in the middle here. I don't even know how you'd get to that. Oh, too early. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Ha ha ha. And go. There we go, nice! Okay. Kinda looks like a Mario level right here. Doo, doo, doo. And there's the flag right there. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Nice and easy. This level, the reverse of this, when you do Moon Rising mode, I don't know why, but it it took forever for me to get that one. And that's all of the normal levels right there, right? Now there's uh, still some some more here. We got ten more levels. 
really like the last level. Because you're like, okay, challenge has been ramping up. Okay, where are they finally going to throw at me? And then the last level is kind of a nice relaxation level. Oop. Ah, darn it. Okay, okay, time it. Go up there. Wait for it to reappear over. And we're through. Nice and simple. Right? <laughs> oh, okay. So the back side of those spikes is showing. It will kill me. I didn't realize. Oh, didn't quite make it. Did not quite make it. So the level keeps looping. Even if you die, it just warps you back to where you go and respawns objects. So sometimes you'll have to wait around for the pattern to get back to where you want it to be. Oh! Uh... There we go. All right. Oop. Ah. And over. Okay. Okay, no, I see what I gotta do. At least I think I see what I have to do. Yep, that worked. Alright! Ding! Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Grab this. Always be carrying. Just it just a second too early there. Okay, okay. I would love to watch another speed run of this. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys like watching speed runs, but this game was really fun to watch. Uh, one game that I've really been loving watching is uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. One, that game is just fucking pretty as hell. Uh, and not a bad Metroidvania style game. Oh, not right there. Do I go... Okay, I gotta time this a little better. And up. And over. There we go. Okay. I remember this level. I kind of liked it.
Nice, simple level. Easy to grasp, and you just have to execute. That's a little, so, as the objects spawn in, you'll notice I was able to move through that platform there. So that means that there is a spawn going on there. And this is the final level. Yeah, listen to that. I wonder if there's a speedrun approved perfect way to get through this the fastest. Meet the sun, and the sun's all pragmatic, and you're like, God, I like ya, but you're talking like a douche. Alright, so, that was 6180 the moon. There is, uh, like I said, uh, just as many levels, but everything's reversed. Uh, the puzzles are pretty much the exact same. You just have to tweak your head around the fact that everything's with gravity going up instead of down. So, like, uh, always, the archive will be at youtube.com slash the great amalgamation. If you're watching this on the archive, we stream at twitch.tv the great amalgamation. Uh, that was 6180 the moon. It's like three bucks. It's a really good platformer. Fairly quick. Uh, you can probably play through it in like an hour. Uh, $3 for an hour of entertainment. Better than a movie. So, there you go. Hopefully you guys liked that. Uh, pick it up if you want to. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.